My name is Nicholas Estrada. I work for the Oregon State Police. I'm an emergency vehicle technician here at our general headquarters in Salem, Oregon. I'm in charge of building all the fish and wildlife trucks for the department. So to begin with, we bring in a factory rig. It's a Ram 1500 or 2500, depending on the package. We bring those in, they go into pre-build stage. At that point, uh, another EVT installs the L-crack, the winch system, and some of the lighting for the rear. At that point, it comes towards me. I go ahead and finish wiring the L-crack. I run a lot of wires inside. I go through, I wire up the Harris radio, the cradle point, the Coban video system. We also go through and make a lot of modifications to the back. We install a wood platform and a wood uh, false wall that holds the structure of the single prisoner compartment and the, the cargo area. This is a completed prisoner section area. Uh, during install, we install a aluminum panel for the side and for the front kick area. That is the prisoner seat, no padding. Don't want to be stuck there. It's all boarded up with plexiglass, protect the trooper from anything that goes on back in there. And it is equipped with a prisoner camera. The Oregon State Police give us these half ton or three quarter ton Dodge pickups. They outfit them with pretty much all the equipment we need, whether it's night vision goggles or um, flare. We get um, mobile data terminals, basically a computer inside our vehicle that allows us access to um, multiple databases, be able to query um, suspects or what kind of licenses and tags they have, check license plates. Um, we have um, in-car video recording, we have body cameras, and it just um, supports us in our mission to combat poaching. The normal routine is all of us get our our pickups as a take-home vehicle. We start out our day from our house and then depending on what time of year it is or what season's going on, we, we make up a, a plan for the day and, and uh, try to combat poaching by, by systematically breaking down our patrol area and trying to address issues that either have came in through tips reported from citizen complaints or um, problem areas that we know from past experiences that have had issues with either trespass or shooting after dark before light or outside of season. I take a lot of pride in the trucks and I, I really enjoy the fact that they are getting out there, they're, they're being used every day. Um, it is the officer's office that's where they do all their paperwork and that's pretty much their home while they're on shift. 